How do stars work? Are there planets out there that could have life on them? My name's Matt Schofield, and these are the kind of big questions that I'm trying to answer with my PhD research. Now, the questions I'm looking at are pretty big, and the way I'm trying to find answers is pretty crazy. I'm looking at the sound waves that exist inside stars like the sun. Yep, you heard me correctly. There are sound waves that exist inside stars like the sun. Just like a guitar or a piano, there are a whole range of sound waves that exist inside the stars like the sun. Studying them is called astro-seismology. Astro means star, and seismos means tremor or earthquake. These sound waves are excited by tremors at the edge of the star. And by studying them, we can learn loads of great things about them. Let me give you an example. If we take a really big bell and hit it with a hammer, we'll hear a very deep note. But if we take a little bell and hit that with a hammer, we'll hear a much higher note. So by studying all of these sound waves that exist inside stars like the sun, we can learn loads of great things about them, like how big they are, how heavy they are, what they're made of, how old they are. And that's brilliant. But the situation gets even better if a planet passes in front of or transits the star as we're observing it with a telescope or a satellite. Because then if that happens, the amount of light that we see from the star is going to decrease. If it's a big planet with respect to the star, then the amount of light we see is going to decrease by a lot. But if it's a small planet with respect to the star, then when it transits in front of the star, the amount of light we see is only going to decrease by a little bit. So by measuring the drop in the amount of light we see from the star, we can know how big the planet is with respect to the star. And if we already know how big the star is, thanks to studying the sound waves that exist inside it, well then we know how big the planet is. And we can learn loads of other great things too, like how old the planet is and what it's made of. There's just one catch. We've got to actually observe these stars with a telescope or a satellite in order to be able to find these sound waves. So that's why for my PhD, all of my effort is focused on TESS. Now TESS is the name of a NASA satellite which is getting launched in December 2017 with the aim of finding Earth-like planets around Sun-like stars. But I don't just want to find these planets. I want to learn loads of great things about them, like how big they are and how old they are and what they're made of. So that's why for my PhD, I'm working towards making TESS as good as possible at detecting the sound waves that exist inside stars like our sun.